decorating and if you're a returning subscriber welcome back and thanks for tuning in again okay guys so today's video is the glitter glam and glitz tablescape which is being hosted by Marilyn of fabulous designs on a budget and L is the co-host easy living with L and moi diva decorating okay so guys, we were told to glam, glitter, and glitz out our tablescapes, okay? So that's what this video is about, and that's what I'm going to show you, okay? So um, let's see what else. We were supposed to include something that sparkles, examples of light source or diamonds, and of course, glam it out. And have something that glitters. So we have to have all three of those things. Okay. The upload date is April 18th, 2020 at 7 a.m. Okay. Don't forget to include the playlist. Also, don't forget to mention the host and the co-host. And link their channel links in your description box. Okay. So guys, I'm going to quit rambling and I'm going to get into showing you what I came up with and I can't wait to see what everyone else came up with because I am a glam, glitz, and glitter girl. So I will be watching everyone's video to see those fabulous tablescapes, okay? And just remember guys, if you're not a um, family member of Easy Living with Elle or Marilyn of Fabulous Designs on a Budget, Please go over and show them some love and consider subscribing to their channel and becoming a part of their family. So, with all of that being said, let's get into this tablescape. how I came up with my design for the glitter glam and glitz tablescape um, as you can see my color scheme is all silver all glam mirrors I have the light source I have my twinkle lights there and I'm going to start with this first place setting right here all the place settings are the same so I'm just going to um, go over one of them. Um, I started off with a glittered 
charger here um, this charger you know is from the Dollar Tree and I just spray painted it with some silver glitter to give it a little sparkle and I think it came out absolutely great and then I just paired it with this um, this was a clear plate from the Dollar Tree and what I did was I used some mirror effect spray paint on it so I could get that mirror effect and I think it is absolutely gorgeous the only thing was though that I only got to spray it with one coat because that's all I had and as you know it's hard to get around and get things so I did not get a chance to get me any more but I got some on order and as you know ordering things right now is never going to come probably in time when you want them to so I'm still waiting on that but I'm going to add at least two to three more coats on this because it came out beautiful but I would like a, a even more coverage um, for the plate because as you can see some areas did not cover as well so a couple more will do it but it's okay and I have my napkins here now these um, satin napkins came from e -Favor Mark. Um I ordered these and I believe they were like ooh, like 79 cent if I'm not mistaken something like that 79 cents they weren't terribly expensive at all um, I paired it with this sequence napkin here which is actually not a napkin I made it a napkin and it is silver it's um, from a e e e favor mark the materials from a e favor mark as well the napkin ring here is also from a e favor mark I forgot how much that costs um, so that's the place setting along with the silverware which is from the Dollar Tree something I already had my stemware here is just a clear wine glass that I already had I paired it by putting a white faux rose inside of it and that's a DIY rose with the beads and the silver if you can see that with the silver on it just a little bit around the edges and it is a beaded wine glass which is a DIY I put the beads on there myself I thought it came out real cute and on it I just have my DIY mirrored coaster you've seen these before and I just um, put some more glam to it and put the gems in the corners and guys it's a simple place setting but it is a glam place setting I love it so much and as I said all the other place settings are the same now for the centerpiece here I decided not to use any faux flowers or anything I wanted to do something different than I usually do so I just set up uh, my DIY candles that I already had and it's a set of three as you can see my candles in there I wanted the whitest candles that I could find around my home but this one is a little bit too tall but it's okay and if you stick around to the end I will put in a nighttime view of how everything looks when it's all lit up and it has the bling gems on it it has the bling wrap on it it even has the little bling gems right there and it is glittered at the bottom this one is the only one that has um, little mirror pieces that I applied to it and it is sitting on the mirrored coaster riser that I had made I already had that 
I gave this set away, um, another set of this away as a giveaway. And this is the set that I kept. Now it's all sitting on the sequence silver runner, which is from E Favor Mart. And it was too long for my table because I have a small table. So what I did was I cut off some and I used the rest for napkin rings. And I thought that it really brought out the silver in these napkin rings. So came out so pretty. And then for my light source, I also decided to put some fairy lights on the table, just going around the candles. And guys, this is how you can come up with a table setting that's not expensive. You can use things that you have around your home, just try them and pair them together and see how they look together if it's pleasing to you then it's fine and i like this so much it came out really really well it's not a lot as i said but it does say glam So guys, make sure that you go over and you check out the playlist and see everyone's tablescape that they came up with. You might get some ideas and some inspiration. And one last thing, guys. This is a picture I did. I don't know if I've shown you before, but it is on a foam board and it's a Z Gallery inspired picture. And I did that myself and I added the little glitter on there it's some gold in there the camera is, really is not doing it any justice at all guys this thing shines so much and sparkles so much daytime as well as night the camera is not doing it any justice but the only thing is that I'm really bummed about this is that I shouldn't have put it on a foam board because it kind of curled up. If you can see that, how it's curled up there. I really did not expect it to come out that way. So I'm thinking about doing another one. Um, I don't know what to put it on. If you have some ideas or some tips as if I could straighten, how I could straighten this picture out or this foam board out. To make it flat please leave me a comment down below because I really don't want to do it all over because I know it probably wouldn't come out the same um, it probably would be just as beautiful but it probably wouldn't come out the same and I really like how this one came out and I just have that one problem of the curling up so please leave me a comment down below if you know how I can straighten that out so guys, that's it for my tablescape. I hope you guys enjoyed. And until next time, guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye, my loves.